Hi, it's Dwyer. It is April the 16th, 2021. Gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Digitalassetlife.com, a free site. Let's talk crypto, but first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Briefly, it's my thesis, just summarizing here, that the best investment in the world of cryptocurrency is Bitcoin. It's store of value. It's a finished product. It doesn't have major competition, right? I believe in terms of a means of exchange, a cryptocurrency that you actually use as a currency. Dash, D-A-S-H. A crypto I've held a long time, to me is the best of breed, right? You can do transactions cheaply, quickly with Dash. Well, there've been a lot of developments in crypto. Um, I believe crypto is moving from a decentralized world where the decentralization was a big selling point. The idea that the state wasn't involved that the corporate world wasn't involved, that the cryptocurrencies didn't have an address, didn't have a head. You could arrest or pressure into conforming to some legacy finance status quo, right? People want it peer to peer. I believe it's transforming from that to a somewhat different world where folks who want peer-to-peer -peer can still have peer-to-peer. -peer. But folks who want to focus on transactional thoroughput, ease of transaction, mm -hmm. now are preferring some centralized outfits that can deliver transactions more cheaply and more quickly than decentralized smart contract platforms. So, let's back up a bit. Within the last few days, BNB coin, which is owned by Binance, right? You have an exchange here owning a coin. This is very centralized. It's not decentralized. It's very different than Bitcoin, right? It's also very different from a central bank issued digital currency, right? The state didn't mint BNB, right? No sovereign nation owns this coin. Rather, it is a private party who is putting the coin out there. In the United States, Coinbase just had a direct listing. Coinbase's market cap is huge. People like Kathy Wood are excited. They're buying up Coinbase for their ETFs. Understand internationally, it's questionable whether Coinbase has a bigger footprint than Binance, right? Binance certainly has the greater volume. Well, Binance has this BNB coin and it's definitely worth a look because this coin is deflationary. Binance is actually destroying some of the coin because in my opinion, this is just one man's opinion and I want you to not view anything I say here as investment advice. Hire your own professionals. I offer this for just entertainment purposes only. I offer this to just tell you what I'm looking at, what I've pursued or what I'm thinking of pursuing, right? Within the last few days, Binance has had BNB burn some of its coin supply. Binance does this when it announces earnings. Binance is doing so well that they just burned more than half a billion dollars worth of BNB coin, half a billion dollars. 
In fact, the number's up around $600 million that they burned. Now, BNB coin is already over $500 a coin. It's already enriched people who have held it for the last year. Tell us your own personal stories in the comment section of this video. My point to you is you have a centralized player here who's trying to create its own Bitcoin. Right? Bitcoin right now is going off at north of $60,000 a coin. I'm just telling you, one of the most powerful players in crypto is burning its own coin supply because it understands the math. Limited supply, higher prices. I believe Binance sees the huge positive press Bitcoin is getting. And Binance has made a decision to have their own private store of value. You need to take a hard look at this coin. Right? On the face of it, they want you to use the coin to save money on their exchanges, including Binance.us here in the United States. But I believe the motive here is very different. I believe they're hoping you hodl this coin. They're hoping this coin goes 10x, goes 20x, enters into the conversation as an alternative to Bitcoin, which, let's face it, is too big and wieldy to be in the conversation as being used for a means of exchange. Right? In other words, you could do several Dash transactions before one Bitcoin transaction clears. I believe Binance is trying to take advantage here of Bitcoin shortcomings. Just look up BNB burns $600 million worth of its coins. And understand, it has burned a lot of its coins before. The deflationary nature of the coin is one of its premier features. Let's shift gears a little bit. You know, I personally believe that Ethereum is in trouble. I'm going to disagree with Mark Cuban. Understand, many big-time investors in the crypto space flatly disagree with me. But I believe Ethereum has major competition. Right? Cardano is about to get smart contract capability. Cardano is already very decentralized. Cardano claims they can do transactions faster than Ethereum. Right? You have Polkadot. Well, let's point out that there's another elephant in the room. And you need to be aware of that elephant. And that is NEO. Now, I know people are scratching their heads, even though NEO's in the top 30 in terms of market cap for all crypto. Right? Just to understand how big NEO is. In the last 24 hours, NEO has done more than $2 billion worth of business. Understand that. NEO just had an N3 update that now has opened up the platform to greater transactional capability. Has opened up the platform to the use of oracles like Chainlink. Has opened up the platform so it now has a filing system similar to Filecoin. Understand, Chainlink and Filecoin on their own are groundbreaking breakthroughs in the cryptoverse, right? Please, spend some time researching NEO, its N3 upgrade. Understand, they're competing with Ethereum. Understand the level of competitor they are. They're doing literally billions of dollars worth of volume daily. Right? There's a race in the Ethereum space. 
right? These blockchains are trying to get dApps built on their platforms. They're racing to have smart contract capability. All the things that made Ethereum 1 a big hit are now spread out over several blockchains. There's no guarantee that Ethereum 2.0 is going to be more advanced than NEO. Let me also say something that needs to be said. I know people are hearing that the Chinese government is anti-Bitcoin, right? China has an interesting relationship with the cryptoverse. On the one hand, you have a lot of crypto miners in China. On the other hand, the government wants to hold on to its monetary control, right? This is the same government that let Alipay and WeChat flourish for years, right? Currency systems owned by private players, Alibaba and Tencent. Well, let me just say, if you're an Ethereum investor and you're worried about your competition, you need to look hard at NEO, N-E-O. You need to look hard at their recent update, which has been a long time coming. Right? They're rolling it out. Folks, they're a formidable competitor. Let's continue. You know, Ethereum is getting huge competition from Binance Smart Chain. I know longtime crypto people cringe right, at the thought of an exchange having its own smart chain to compete with a decentralized platform that's popular like Ethereum, right? This would be like Coinbase having a smart chain, right? But what I want people to realize is Binance smart chain is just the beginning of the conversation because Binance now has a decentralized exchange on its Binance Smart Chain that is challenging Uniswap and SushiSwap for supremacy in the decentralized exchange space. Right, the name of that decentralized exchange, and they have some of the biggest volumes in the space right now. Binance is claiming that it's truly decentralized. It's called Pancake Swap, right? I recently picked up some Pancake Swap. For the record, too, let me say I've owned Neo for years, right? I'm not smart enough to know who ultimately wins, whether it's Uniswap, huge volume, Sushi Swap, huge volume, Pancake Swap, or some other outfit. But what I do know is that Binance is a Goliath in the exchange world. An absolute Goliath. That Binance's BNB coin, which is in the top five market cap of all cryptocurrency, has been on fire. So much so that they're able to burn hundreds of millions of dollars worth of coins. Now they have a smart chain to compete straight up with Ethereum. And of course, their smart chain is claiming to have easier use requirements, greater capacity, a quicker transaction time, cheaper fees. And now on top of that, They've created a decentralized exchange that you and I can buy. Understand, pancake swap tokens are being sold to the public. You're going to have people out there who want a decentralized exchange that they can rely upon that's cheaper than Ethereum's, right? You know, cheaper than 
Uniswap or SushiSwap, the fees charged by Ethereum, and they have it here with PancakeSwap. Right? On the one hand, people are going to complain. They're going to say, hey, this is too centralized. On the other hand, they're going to look at the distribution of tokens, just like they do now with BNB. And they're going to realize that it's widely held. I encourage people to go to pancakeswap.finance.com. Again, pancakeswap.finance.com to find out more about it. Understand, Binance has some bells and whistles that Coinbase simply doesn't have and is not going to have for quite some time. Right? Binance isn't rolling out just a smart chain. They're rolling out an ecosystem here. Right? The symbol title is cake c-a-k-e right you'll find out too that you could do some staking on the platform and that there's something called syrup out there that is part of the ecosystem in my opinion the time to get in is right now you're wondering who the winners and losers in the crypto space are going to be when even believers like plan b believe that you're not going to have that many. That more than 90% of the coins out there are going to fail. Here, with NEO, a coin doing billions of dollars worth of volume daily, and with Binance's ecosystem, you're dealing with very well financed competitors. that are well positioned. They're already, put it this way, NEO's already in the top 30 in terms of market cap. Binance's BNB coin is in the top 10 in terms of market cap. They already have name recognition, right? They're plowing ahead. PancakeSwap already has reached number two in terms of total volume on some days for decentralized exchanges. Right? This is what's balling right now. It's all happening right now. I think you need to do some research. Again, pancakeswap.finance.com. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.